Ever wondered how two opposing ideologies, fascism and communism, gained ground almost simultaneously during the interwar period? This epic, sandwiched between the conclusion of World War I and the onset of World War II, was a time of profound economic, social, and political upheaval. The world was reeling, trying to steady itself after the unprecedented devastation of the Great War. The old order had crumbled, leaving a power vacuum in its wake. Economies were in disarray, societies were fractured, and the political landscape was more volatile than ever. These conditions led to widespread dissatisfaction and disillusionment among the masses. People were yearning for stability, for a return to normalcy, and in their desperation they were willing to entertain new ideas, new ideologies. This was the fertile ground in which the seeds of fascism and communism took root. The stage was set, the actors ready, and the world would soon witness the rise of two of the most influential and controversial ideologies of the 20th century. In the wake of World War I, a new political ideology took root in Europe, fascism. A forceful response to the chaos of post-war society, fascism emerged as a beacon of stability and order. It began its march in Italy under the charismatic leadership of Benito Mussolini, a former socialist who leveraged the nation's discontent to consolidate his position. Mussolini's fascism was a potent brew of nationalism, militarism, and anti-communism, promising Italians a return to national glory and protection from the perceived threat of communism. His regime centralized power, suppressed dissent, and promoted a cult of personality that effectively enthralled the nation. From Italy, the winds of fascism blew towards Germany. Here, a disillusioned corporal from the Great War named Adolf Hitler saw in fascism a vehicle to resurrect German pride and power. Hitler's brand of fascism, Nazism, was steeped in racial purity and anti-Semitism, a twisted ideology that would lead to one of the darkest chapters in human history. Fascism, in both Italy and Germany, resonated with a populace disillusioned by the failures of democracy and fearful of the spread of communism. It offered a sense of unity, a promise of restored national pride, and a semblance of order in a world that seemed to spin out of control. So, fascism, with its promise of order, unity, and national pride, captivated nations wounded by war and disillusioned by the perceived failures of democracy. While fascism was gaining ground in Europe, another ideology was stirring the masses in the East, communism. This was a call to arms for the proletariat, the working class. It held a promise of a new world order, a society where wealth and power were not in the hands of the few, but shared among all. In the heart of Russia, the whispers of communism grew louder under the leadership of two men, Vladimir Lenin and Joseph Stalin. Lenin, the architect of the Bolshevik Revolution, was the first to wield the hammer and sickle. He believed that the proletariat, armed with the right consciousness, could overthrow the bourgeoisie, the ruling class. His vision was to dismantle the capitalist system and replace it with a socialist one, where means of production were controlled by the workers. Stalin, Lenin's successor, continued to stoke the flames of communism. He took Lenin's vision a step further, transforming the Soviet Union from a peasant society into an industrial superpower. Stalin's rule was marked by a series of five-year plans aimed at rapid industrialization and collectivization of agriculture. While his methods were often brutal and his policies led to widespread suffering, his reign cemented communism's place in the political landscape of the 20th century. Thus, communism, with its promise of equality, and an end to exploitation, resonated with the proletariat, igniting a revolution that would reverberate across the globe. The interwar period was a time of profound change marked by the rise of two powerful ideologies, fascism and communism. This was a crucible of ideologies where the ashes of the Great War gave rise to doctrines that promised order amidst chaos. Fascism, with its emphasis on national unity, authoritarian leadership, and aggressive expansion, found fertile ground in countries like Italy and Germany Communism, on the other hand, called out to the proletariat, presenting itself as a beacon of hope for the oppressed working class, particularly in Russia. These ideologies were not born in a vacuum. They were a response to the social, economic, and political upheaval of the era, offering solutions to the challenges that plagued nations after the First World War. Their rise fundamentally altered the geopolitical landscape, setting the stage for the power struggles that would dominate the rest of the 20th century. In a time of chaos and uncertainty, the world turned to new ideologies, setting the stage for a struggle that would shape the rest of the 20th century.